Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we'll take a look at what are the steps you need to take to make your blogger website faster. So let's get started. Blogger is free. Creating a website using the blogger platform is pretty easy. But just creating and making your website live doesn't mean the work is done. You also need to check whether your website is running fast. Nowadays people are busy and they don't have time to wait for long for a website to load. There are many different sources of information other than you. So the visitor won't stay for long for your website to load. If you have a blogger website, you don't have much control over the backend of your website. But there are some things that you can do to make sure that your website loads fast. But before following these tips, test your website to see the performance. There are many tools that can help you test the loading speed of your website. They also provide some suggestions for you to follow to get an optimal speed. One of such tools is called PageSpeed Insights by Google. So let's see what are the steps you can take to make your blogger website faster. One thing you can do to make your blogger website faster is by limiting the number of blog posts that appear on the home page of your website. The more posts blogger has to show, the more requests it has to make to the server which will result in a slight delay in the loading speed. Images are critical in any website. You should use them whenever it is needed. It makes the website more interesting to the visitor. But you should not upload your images right from your DSLR to your website. Images are one of the main culprits in slowing down your website. Since images have large file sizes, loading them can be time consuming for the visitor. The first thing you need to do before uploading your image to your blogger dashboard is to compress it. There are a number of tools online for free which you can use to compress your images for web without losing any noticeable quality. Just google for compress image for web or something and you'll find a lot of them. Now that pretty much everyone has a reasonable internet speed, you may think that compressing images is not that important. But just think about the improvements you can make to the loading speed of your website if you compress your images. Compression can reduce the image size to a great extent. Even if you save 20 to 30% of space on each image, just think about the impact you can make on the whole web page which contains multiple images. Also remember to save the image to dimensions that is width and height that you are going to set in the CSS for the image. In this way, you are not scaling down your images after fetching an image with a larger width and height. One more thing to remember about images is that if you are using an image as a background for your content or your whole page, then try to remove the image if you can. Try to replace it with a solid color or you can also use a gradient using CSS. Try to eliminate images whenever possible. There are many widgets which you can use in Blogger. Widgets can be interesting and make your website interactive. But remember that widgets also have to be loaded which takes time. So if you have some widgets in your website that you don't really need, then you should consider removing them from the website. It can also be possible that you are using a template that is coded poorly which can result in your website loading slow even though you have done everything you could do to optimize it. So try to install a template that loads fast. Try different templates and check the speed for yourselves. Using a large number of ads on your website can also cause your website to load slower. Each ad has to contact a particular website for the ads to show up. The more ads there are, the more number of requests need to be sent. This can cause your website to load slower. So if you are using ads on your website, limit them to the least you can. If you are using a lot of media files or a lot of JavaScript or CSS files on your website, then you should consider using a CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Now what normally happens is that when a visitor visits your website, the images stored on your website is delivered to the visitor from your hosting server which is located somewhere in the world. Now every time any visitor from anywhere in the world tries to access the images, the images are delivered by your hosting server. Sometimes the hosting server can't handle heavy load if you have a lot of visitors accessing the website at the same time. In such a situation, CDN can work magic for you. CDN is basically a number of servers placed at different places around the world. Now if you start using CDN and if a visitor visits your website, the images will be delivered to the visitor from the server which is geographically nearest to the visitor. 
This can save a lot of time in uh, loading the website and uh, thus give a great experience for the visitor. Alright, so that's basically all we have for this video. These are some tips to improve the speed of your blogger website. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.